Rodriguez, the veterinarian from Miami Sea Aquarium. Today we are here because they have reclassified the manatee. Now, what the reclassification is, is from an endangered status to a threatened status. With that, the protections do not change. So the public needs to know that the spoding restrictions stay in place. All the habitat um, protections, they stay in place. Everything stays in place because with the classification, what everyone has seen is that it's these protections that have allowed manatees to go in the last 20 years from 15 to 1800 manatees all the way to above 6,000. But they did that with these protections in place. So what the federal government has done is reclassified it from endangered to threatened, but they are not changing the manatee protections or any of the policies.